Hey everyone, I'm Rosie and welcome back to my channel. This week we're doing a little bit of a challenge. So I have the latest issue, May's issue of National Geographic. I got a year subscription as a gift and so I get a new one every month. And I wanna do a one source challenge where I make a collage from just this magazine. And uh, I'm really excited about that because I only have to flip through this. I don't have to flip through any of my other books. The one challenging thing is I don't know what images are in here. I haven't flipped through it. So we could make a bad collage because I don't know what's going to be in here. But that's the fun of this challenge. But it is The Secrets of Whales. And I love whales. They're my favorite animal. So I'm pretty excited. I hope there's some good pictures of whales in here so I can make a whale collage because I want to do that. <laughs> So let's get started and we'll see what we can make. Okay, crazy idea. I know what else is new. I always have crazy ideas. Could we make one of the whales playing the cello? I don't know if we can make that work, but if we could, that is an incredible idea. <laughs> the other idea I have is we could take this Rolex and put it like it's wrapped around one of the whale's bodies. That might be another fun idea. All right, so I have the cello and the arms cut out. Now we just have to find a thing to fit this on. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I needed to cut it out so we can lay it on top of some images and see if there's anything that matches up. <laughs> I might be able to get this one to work, but I'm not sure, so let's keep looking. Oh my goodness. Okay, this one might actually work. I feel like we can tuck it behind the whale in a way that this actually might work. We're gonna lose the bottom of the cello piece, but I think that that's fine. And maybe we take this guy out, because I'm not in love with this background. It's a little murky. Maybe we can take him out and put him in a different background and that maybe that'd be a little bit more exciting. But this guy is definitely maybe. All the coral that's in here is very similar to the coral that I used a few videos ago with the dollhouse that got nestled in the coral. All this is like very similar vibe. So I'm trying to stay away from that because we just did that, but it's really cool. Okay, so I feel like we have a few options, but it's gonna be hard for me to decide, but I think we might just have to play with a few of them and see. So there's this one where I feel like the cello fits well, the arms are kind of the right length, we could nestle them under under some of these tentacles to make this read a little bit better maybe. Um, and then my other thoughts are, do we want to remove the squid from the background and find a new background for them? We might have to because uh, the bottom section is not lining up quite right. So we might have to transport them to a different background, but that's just the first option. This next option is this jellyfish. And what I like about this one is it's kind of it's really delicate looking it kind of looks like you're at like a winter ballet or something it like it's very delicate and very like 
graceful looking and I don't know this is just kind of a really beautiful image but I don't know what I would what else I would want to add to this I feel like it would need some more elements and I don't know what that would be for this so I like this one a lot and I think the cello pops the colors are nice but I would want to add something else to this and I'm not sure what that would be the next one is this whale right here who I feel like is just making a funny face and the width of the whale is kind of perfect but what I don't love about this image is it's a little uh, less exciting, it's a little muddy. So I would wanna take him out of this environment, but would he feel weird if we put him in a different environment? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we should just try it, cut him out and see if we can plop him somewhere else. Cause I do think that his face and the width of his arms are right. And there's one more, this killer whale, which I think we'd have to do the most finessing to get the arms to really feel like their arms coming out of this whale. And again, I like some of the other ones I was want I would want to add more to this image, but I'm not exactly sure what that would be. So, those are the four that I liked and I think we need to do some playing around and start seeing which one works the best. I feel like they're all they all have similar potential, but we got to play with them a little more. So I like the idea of this little guy. I just don't think he's reading as well. It's hard to tell that he's a whale. I just don't think that this one is working as well. So I'm gonna move on, put him off to the side and move on to a different background, a different focal point, different subject, a different animal playing the cello. So I've decided to move forward with this image. I just like how much the cello pops. I like the colors, I like the feeling of it, um, but I do think it needs something else. So I'm gonna look back through the magazine for more things that we can add to this scene. So I think I have two options for things that I can add to this piece. The first one are these divers and I could put them around um, our <laughs> cello playing jellyfish. Um, and then it's maybe sort of like they're filming him. I'm not sure, uh, but I like that idea. The other idea could be that I take some of these fish illustrations from this more like infographic type thing and put them around the jellyfish, just so he has like a little bit of an audience. Um, so I feel like those are our two options. I'm gonna cut both of them out and we'll look at both of them. But I think that so one of those is gonna work. So I'm liking these divers a little bit more than the fish. So I think I'm gonna stick with them. Um, and I'm liking how this is looking. I think we're done basically. I do want to cut out the little parts between the legs, um, pretty small, but I do wanna do that detail because I think it will help. Um, and then we'll glue this piece together and then that will be it. So this is the collage that we made with this magazine. 
I think that this was a really fun challenge. I think this turned out really great. It's a silly concept, but I do think that the arms of the cello player of Yo-Yo Ma really kind of fit with the jellyfish. Um, and so it's sort of like an underwater concert. And I think that it's fun and silly and I enjoyed this. So that's it for today's video. I will see you next Thursday for another collage video. Bye.